to think of it. This man was the, the man that is virgin mm -hmm. almost all the, the, the virgins in he had somebody who was who was in charge of that. So the person had to bring bring him virgins almost every night. And then I I have, I have so, to become a man of God. <laughs> and you know how it goes. You know how it goes. When he invites you into his five story, eh? when he invites you into his five story, and you get there, the only thing you say is take off your pants. <laughs> Are you getting it? No, nothing. There's, there's no consensus agreement as to whether what he's coming to do. He said, take off your pants, lie on the bed, do this. You, you get it. And then he also had uh, uh, guys who were serving him. You get it. These guys, some of okay, hold, 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 it. So hold, hold your hand, hold your hand. Stanley, his uh, uh, delegation that he said he has been uh, the. Uh, 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 the late prophet has been his virgin in there. <laughs> uh, what, what I can say. What do you have to uh, He's not there. Uh -huh. I'm not there. Uh -huh. So she look, leave that for God. <laughs> <laughs> the only engineer with swag. <laughs> he said no. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't see anything good about TV. So it's going to be an open debate. So our followers or viewers, let's listen to them. But let me start with uh, Stanley from Niger. Uh, good day, everybody. My name is Stanley. In case you are meeting me for the first time. Uh, like what you are saying about TV Joshua, I don't really believe because TV Joshua is in relation to me. I can say TV Joshua is in relation because TV Joshua has done so many, many things. So many things. Just look at Nigeria's. Nigeria, some of them are talking bad, some of them are talking good, but to me, TV Joshua is a good man because when TV Joshua was alive, TV Joshua has, has, has been and helped me to people, so many people. So, what BBC and people and disciples, you know, in every organization, there must be a betrayer. To me, all those people are betrayers because even Jesus Christ, they betray Jesus Christ, they want them to be Joshua. To me, those people are betrayers and the rest and not all of that. So, TV Joshua has done many things. If you want to name some pastors in Africa today, you will talk about TV Joshua. Because TV Joshua has been helping, since I was a kid, I know about TV Joshua. TV Joshua has been helping, has been helping people, has helped people a lot. So, what those disciples are doing is that when the women, the, the TV Joshua wife, did not allow them to take full charge of the church, that is where their prejudices came from. To me, that is what I see. So, okay. don't believe all that. All right. Don't believe all that. That is what Stanley is saying. Engineer, let, let, let's hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, I am going to speak from BBC's point of view. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm going to speak from BBC's documentary. Yes, against what Stanley is saying. Is okay? Stanley said he has known TV uh, Joshua, Prophet TV Joshua, the late, for a very long time. He is a good man and all sort of him. But then, from the documentary that BBC brought out, it has been pointed out clearly that in as much as this man has been posing to the public to be a good man, he's not a, a good person as he seems to be. Reason being that TB Joshua has molested most of the female workers in his church. TB Joshua has raped, has sexually molested and abused the ladies. In the church so such a man that comes to national television every day or every now and then preaching uh, the word of god preaching love and affection and all those things do you think that a man is a good man you understand he's a man of god all right but why should a man of god molest uh, women and come to think of it these women that have been molested were all underage None of them were above the age of 18. Most of them were below the age of 18. They were 16, 17 years of age. You understand? And even the ones that even crossed the, the, the age limit a little bit, he also molested them sexually. Are you getting it? And then he made a thing in such a way that when you are being molested, you cannot complain. There's nobody that you can talk to. There's nobody that you can complain to. Because at the end of the day, Every day, at the end of the day, he, he calls for an, an emergency meeting. 
everybody comes out, he assembles all the disciples. If you have any complaint, you make the complaint directly to him. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I get in the hotel. So, so why are you going to complain to me? So, 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 so it's like wait, just judging his own case. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, Sally, what have you got to say? Uh, what I got to say? <laughs> those things, to me, those things are really, 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 really 100% fake. That's what I can say. Because even Jesus, like I said before, even Jesus, the entry mm. Jesus, what then TB Joshua? TB Joshua is a legend, it's a legendary for that matter. Because that man has done so many things. I don't know why people are from backside to just betray him like this. It's this is betrayal. Uh, this is betrayal. Because to me, those disciples and the rest that are BBC and the rest all are betrayers. That is what I can say to now. Well, uh, if you say they are betrayers, the point is, they have been with the man and in their own point of view, what the man portrayed to uh, the public uh, in their own point of view uh, 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 what he portrays to the public and what he's doing at the hindsight doesn't uh, correspond okay. to what he's telling yeah. the public okay. that he is okay. what have you got to okay. they say are, they have been working with the man right mm -hmm. Yes. so why the time working with the man why did they come outside and say oh the man is this, the man why now that the man is late that's a very vital question I want to ask. Yes, the, the point is, you know, um, when you are with somebody, eh, no matter how uh, no matter how bad the person is, so far as you are with him and getting something small from him, you will take it as it is. Are you getting it? Yeah. You will take it as it, as it is. But within yourself, within you, you know that... Mm, what this man is doing or what this person is doing is not right but because you are also getting something from the person you 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 you, you keep quiet to it are you getting it getting it. Uh -huh. just like uh, a, a chief or uh, uh, how do i how do you call it in nigeria uh, oga yeah oga, oga. Uh -huh. ordering boys to go and kill somebody they know that is very bad are you getting it? Yeah. Killing someone is very bad. But because he's been paying them, he's paying them huge sum of money. So what will they do? They'll go and carry out the order. So to me, that is what, uh, uh, to your question, uh, to your question, that is how it looks like for them. So far as they were getting something from him, they will carry out the order all right. So now he is no more. Since he is no more, they can come out to what to tell the world what is really or what has really happened over there. Yeah. And uh, also, let me add, let me add to what he asked. Mm -hmm. okay. He asked to yeah. uh, some of the disciples that were in there. They said that the late Joshua, okay, he was a fearful man. He was very very fearless. Fearful. Is it fearfully? God, uh, the yes. Bible says, uh, uh, fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. <laughs> so and that was that yes, was TB Joshua. Yes, that's how it was. So, <laughs> so <laughs> there is no way under his watch, irrespective of whatever he's doing to you, okay. to you, you will okay. have the mouth to okay. say it. Because you are afraid. Because of, you see, sometimes from what, the, what these people said, yeah, they had me sleep. The, 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 the longest hours you sleep is basically two hours in a day. Wow. An entire 24 hours is wow, longest two wow, hours. Wow, wow. And you dare not sleep if he is not sleeping or has ordered you to sleep. Mm. I get it. So psychologically, these people are being worked on. Psychologically. Just imagine you not sleeping or having enough sleep. You sleep for barely two hours, you wake up. You have an assignment due. Mm. After that assignment, you have another. And then it continues till the end of the day. You get it, and then the following day the same thing continues, and then it never ends. You realize that it gets to that point whereby your brain no longer functions the way it's even supposed to function. No more human being. Yes, and <laughs> bear in mind that most of these people have served this man for years. Because some people have served him for over fourteen years. I get it. Wow. Yes, people have served him for over fourteen years. Some are serving for three, four, like. 
countless number of years they have been with a man. And then you hardly get sleep, you hardly get rest, and all those things. So psychologically, you have been worked on. And, then and that this is, man is that somebody is, that... That is human right abuse. Because yes. at least every normal human pe a, a being eh, has to sleep eight hours in a day. And, and, and see, you cannot even leave the church premises as a disciple. You can't leave. Because there are guards at the gates. There are policemen at the gates. Where do you pass? You get it? So who do you speak to? He basically has nobody to talk to. Basically. So before you even have a voice to say, it will be very difficult for you to have that voice to say that this man is this and that and that. And then if you dare do such a thing, he will come after you. He will come after you. Because one, one of uh, his past... Uh, administrators said that when he finally left uh, the synagogue church of all nations and then uh, they decided to team up and then publish or say some of these things about the man he came after them and then one when other they, one too was it when he was alive or when yeah when he was alive okay the, the guy left whilst he was alive okay and then he decided to write a 13 page a documentary about about him oh, okay. with regards to the true nature of the, the man. man okay yes he came after him he even went to his prayer mountain as it is titled prayer mountain but the prayer mountain is not prayer that is offered there it's something different that they do there oh, okay. which i think we'll dive, we'll dive into later <laughs> you get it and then the person who supersedes the the prayer mountain he gave them their pictures and asked him to curse them for them to mm -hmm. die this man said that he was driving, and then all of a sudden, three gunmen were shooting at the back of his car. So, which I, means that he, uh, he 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 can work both physically and spiritually. Exactly. So, if he comes after you spiritually, it doesn't work. He will come after you physically. Physically. So <laughs> you, you don't have a voice of your own to speak. <laughs> so these people can only talk when they see that the man is no more. Okay. And then they have the voice. All right. Okay, Stanley. Uh, you have been in Nigeria. Yeah. And I believe you know the man very well. And then uh, whether you've been to his church or maybe from afar. So all these the disciples are saying, in as much as uh, you are saying the man is good, don't you think there is some little bit of truth? And what they are saying. Um, what I can say is that the disciples and the rest are us. Why I say so? When the man was late, early when the man was late, one of the disciples want to take over the church. So the church committee and the rest did not allow that to happen. Oh, okay. Is it when? Uh, is it when the man was late or when he was? When, like... the, when, when the man was late. Oh, okay. When he okay. was late. Okay. So the disciples want to take full charge of the church. Oh, okay. So some of the committee and some of the church members did not allow that to happen. They say his wife will take full charge of the church. Oh, okay. So now I can say that those people look at like they are worked with TV Joshua for years, mm -hmm. no profit, no benefit. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to spoil the image of the man. That's what I can say, say to that. But uh, when uh, when they were working with the man or when the man was alive, I believe he was paying them well, he was paying them good money and they were living good. He accommodated them. Uh, uh, they were rent free, right? So the little money he, uh, he was paying them, they could have put those monies into good use. Not after when he he, he, uh, he was gone, yeah. before they will, they, they will be thinking of making life out of the legacy the man built. Are, are you getting my yeah, point? Yeah, I'm getting your point. Uh -huh. That is true. Yeah, possibly. Uh, from what you have said. Mm. And uh, also, uh, from what I gathered mm. from BBC's documentary, the wife was not living with the man. Oh, okay. The, the T.D. Joshua and the wife never stayed together. They were not living together. They were living separate lives. Oh, okay. Yeah. They had their own individual lives to live. T.D. Joshua lived in the premises of the church. Oh, okay. He's the, the synagogue church of all nations. That was where he lived. He lived in the five-story apartment. Oh, okay. That was where he was living. Wow. But the wife was not... Part of that. Yes. Uh, okay. The wife okay. was not 
with, with him. Okay. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. And then also, I believe to disciple somebody mm -hmm. means that, oh, you are training the person that when you are not there, the person should take after you or, you know, supersede uh -huh, the affairs when you are not there. So, in, in, in as much as uh, he's saying that the disciples wanted to take charge of the affairs of the church, I don't think it is a, a bad thing for them to, to do. I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, from your, uh, from your, uh, from your uh, narration, uh, what I deduced from it was that uh, the woman was not even part of the church administration at all. The woman was as part of the church administration. Okay, okay. The people that were part of the church administration were different. Oh, okay. Yes. And even this way, uh, some of these people also came out to, to speak concerning the issue. Oh, okay. And then the disciples, for, for instance, are people that are being trained on a daily basis and are going different tasks. Mm -hmm. They've served there for years. They've been to different, different departments. They know how the church is running. So if they say that, oh, okay, uh, our founder is no more, we know the nitty gritty of the church. So we can take our full responsibility and build the church to be a better church. I think they are in the, the, the best position to do that. I think they are in the best position to do that because they know everything about the church. And then they, they have seen the flaws, the actual flaws of the church. Okay. So if the church needs to rise again as a, a good church, then, it is them. Yes, they, they, they have the capacity to rewrite the wrongs that the man has already portrayed. Oh, okay. I saw that they, they had the ability to do that. Okay. Yes. And right. then they, they deny them that opportunity. You get it? Uh, it will also add to the trauma that they are already going through. Because they have been molested sexually and mm -hmm. all sort of things. Okay. They have been quiet. Okay, stop there. Okay, Stanley. Uh, don't you think... Uh, the disciples are right uh, in taking over uh, the affairs of the church in as much as the woman is T.B. Joshua's wife and you know that uh, 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 the woman as T.B. Joshua's wife was not part of the church administration she didn't or she doesn't know anything about how church is run she doesn't know anything about Anything about church administration, are you getting it? And then the, these disciples have been with the man from day one. And eh? what we toil with the man from day one, build the church to a standard whereby when the man is no more, they will what? They will take over the mantle. Same as Jesus Christ did. Okay? His mom, Jesus Christ did not marry. His mom was part of uh, his uh, his crew, but he uh, 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 he basically or well, he, he basically taught his disciples that when he leaves, when he leaves, they will do what they will take over the the church administration, not his mother. Are you getting it? His mother could have said, oh, "It is my son." Are you getting it? The church belongs to my son. So let me be the head of the church. Are you getting it? But it didn't go that way. So don't you think the disciples are right? Uh, or they were, uh, it's, it's passing, it's passing. So they were right to say that they have to carry on TB Joshua's mantle. Uh, the disciples are not right. They are wrong. They are wrong. I can say they are 80% wrong. Mm -hmm. Because I can just say, like, uh, the, TB Joshua, I don't know anything about the church. Mm. That is a lie. Even though the man did not stay in the church premises like the synagogue and the rest, but I must say the woman knows of certain things about the church. You cannot say the woman didn't know anything about the church. So all what they are saying is false accusation. That is a false accusation about the man. Because when a uh, great bishop Pidawza was alive. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know him, Bishop Pidawza. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the yeah, 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 one of the great When Pidawza was alive, after Pidawza passed on, his wife took over the church and helped him now. The woman is still controlling the church 100%. Okay. So that is what the Tim Joshua wife wanted to do. But the disciples are very, very, very upset. So 
they want the disciples wanted to take full charge of everything about the church, the money, the everything about the church, but the family didn't allow that to happen. So they can't help to plan against the man. That's what I can say about everything that is going on now. They can't have about against, the man yeah, everything and the family. Yeah, they can't have about the family. Everything you are seeing online about BBC and the rest. All is false accusation, false accusation. So, but the video is, is even edited videos, mm -hmm. edited videos. Yeah, that's what I can say for now. Okay, engineer, that is what Stanley is saying. He said everything is false accusation about the man. So, uh, what do you have to say about what Stanley is saying? You see, in, even in building the church, synagogue is, is a very big church. Yeah, with fast land and then structures. His disciples contributed as a, how, how will I put it? They contributed as a point in time, as laborers okay. to building the church. Whenever there's a church project ongoing, sometimes they have to carry mortar and all those things to make sure that the church is being built or the church project is, is being successfully built. Are you getting it? So these disciples have contributed so much into the status or where the church has gotten to today. These disciples have contributed so much to building the church to where it has gotten to today. So I don't think the, the wife and then the family, as Stanley is saying, should deprive these disciples the opportunity to be a part or to still be a part of the administration of the church. Because they have spent a lot of their years, or their, their prime age, their youthful age in the church, seven, the man of God, and working for the church. Mind you, most of these people were just 16, 17 years of age. Some 20, but they have lived there for years. Over 10 years. And some people, I, 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 I believe some people uh, served more than 14 years, 15 years, 20 I, I years. Yeah, yeah. Their life in the church, yeah, yeah. building the church, working, making sure that the church gets to where it is today. So why should the family and then the wife deprive these people the opportunity to still be an integral part of the church rather than trying to sideline them and then taking full responsibility. Because I don't know much about how Ijaosa ran his church, but I don't know if he also had disciples as T.B. Joshua. But T.B. Joshua had disciples, people that he was training. Okay, the uh, disciple is, is, is the same as maybe church workers. You know, yeah. just like in Ghana here, uh, uh, all churches or most churches have church workers. It's the same way, uh, it's just a similar situation in a TV uh, circumstances, uh, calling them as disciples, church workers. I was, I was also a church worker before, you know, I was a singer in a church. So these church workers, say, huh? this, all these church workers <coughs> who are disciples, they have spent most of their years or a long, or have spent long years serving the church building the church, serving in different, different departments of the church. They are I don't believe they know they are doing, They are doing the work of God. Yeah. <laughs> and they have their benefit in heaven. In heaven. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, this disciples, uh -huh. these disciples see that, oh, okay, now that we have worked so hard and then have gotten so much experience in running the church, because my, it is the same disciples who carry out all the church activities, even interviewing guests, receiving guests, you know, sometimes all the basic things that the church runs on is the disciples that does all those things. Okay, uh, 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 don't you think they, uh, 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 they try to be too greedy? Eh? They try to be too greedy. Maybe uh, 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 when to be usual past, eh? They've not reached a level whereby they can handle. You see, oh, uh, uh, becoming a church leader uh, is not a child's play. 
Are you getting it? It's not a child's play. So don't you think they, they try to become too greedy to, uh, to take that mantle too soon? Hmm? Well, basically, don't, basically, don't, don't you think so? Uh, I don't know about... Uh, if not Stanley saying that mm -hmm. these disciples wanted to take over the administration of the church, I wouldn't have gotten that uh, insight. Okay. Good. I wouldn't have gotten that insight until he said that you get it. But from the disciples' point of view, okay. the reason they came out to say the things they have said is because of the traumas they have gone through, the things the man have subjected them to. That is the reason they came out. So basically, they did not come out because they were denied access to the administrative works of the church. Okay. Uh, I get uh, it. Okay. Uh, don't you think it was part of uh, what they went through was part of the training? Eh? Was part of the training that the man was giving them for tomorrow, for the future? 